What does NAT mean? As in networking. NAT is network address translation. It relates to how your computer can interact with other computers. Uh, it's most commonly seen in gaming when you have a certain type of NAT, you cannot do certain things. Uh, the most common NAT type is a moderate NAT, which means that you don't exactly have a fully open connection to the internet, but it's partially there. Uh, there's also open NAT and strict NAT. Open NATs are the, the ones that can allow anybody to connect to them and they can connect to anybody else's because their firewall acts like it's not there. It just sends information directly to whatever item you're going to. Okay. Whereas moderate nets, their firewall's kind of there. It's restricting certain ports and certain IPs. You know, they can only connect to open and moderate NAT games. So... Or hosts. So is open faster or what? It's not necessarily faster, but it gives you more compatibility. You know, strict NATs, you can pretty much only send and receive information on one port, which your console or computer opens when it attempts to connect to a game. And they, they can only connect to an open NAT game because the moderate NATs can open several ports if they'd like to, but the strict NATs can't. You know, moderate NAT can allow some incoming connections. Open NAT just is always there. Mm -hmm. You can use, you know, if you have cable internet, you can use your router to forward all, you know, requests directly to your IP that have no, you know, any other information attached to them straight to your Xbox, you know, and then you'll never have an issue. You'll have an open net. So uh, the default is moderate, right? It's not and... the default, but it's the most common. Uh, okay, the cause, default depends on your router firmware. Because, like, in an Xbox, uh, you, if you see on Call of Duty or something, it'll say at the bottom, it'll say NAT type open or moderate or what strict is another one, maybe? Right. Um, Th those are the ones that you'll notice. There are other NAT types that are used mostly in the business networking world. Uh -huh. You know, but uh, in, in the gaming world, which is what most people, you know, play with... Uh, they won't ever have to worry about any of the other stuff. Uh, the most common NAT type is moderate. You know, your router's firmware is going to dictate what the default is. Some will default to strict, some will default to open, and some will default to moderate. How about most default to moderate? Because mm -hmm. most people don't know how to change it. So, should I keep, if I'm playing on a gaming system, should I keep uh, an open, moderate, or strict? Obviously, strict sounds like you're limiting yourself. So, what, uh, moderate strict or Strict is the most secure. Okay. You, you can't get hacked as easily with it. But the setting you pick depends entirely on your ISP. Okay. If your service provider has an open NAT, you would want to pick a moderate NAT. You know, you don't want you don't want to be able to get, you know, anybody flowing in there, but you know, you still unless you don't care if your Xbox gets hacked, then you can go with an open net. So the best thing to do is probably just to play around with it, see what yeah. kind of works best. You know, if you're on a cable network, you get to choose your net. But if you're yeah. on, you know, if your ISP's got you on a moderate or strict net, you set yours as open because otherwise you're going through two strict nets and you're going to have major slowdowns. Yeah, if you have it open, it opens up to what net uh, port they're using. Right. There's the, whatever net type is that. You know, the next level is going to be the bottleneck. If, you know, whatever's in the middle, you could have five or six routers in there. If one of them's at moderate, you're running at moderate. Right. If one's at strict, you're running at strict. That's just how it is. You know, three of them can be at moderate and one at strict, and you're going to run at strict, regardless of the other one's settings. That just interact or affects how they connect with each other. 